Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, a Z series in which we're playing is good old Megatha. But, you know what? They fight for freedom. I, haven't I promised you that America yet lives? At great effort, the Secretary of the Interior has sent proof that the Enclave does live. Montana, and no, not just MacArthur Army Base. Right now, Enclave troops are en route from Chicago, the gleaming heart of America. These fine men and women have, been, have one mission, the restoration of America in peace and order. Just remember, when you see the Enclave, you see the United States government. We are authorized to restore order and civility by any means necessary. Just stay out of the way and let us do our job, interfere with the Enclave's mission, and you'll be dealt with, harshly. Together, we'll restore the glory of this nation. One problem at a time. Give them a ruler. Oh, we get 50 things of advanced power armor. Fantastic. And get five gunships and two rapid response divisions. Uh, support changes uh, by 5% from the Secretary of Interior. Lose three energy and one more metal going forward. Well, you know what? Two more divisions. I'm okay with that. So they're rapid response. Crud. Um, that's the case. We're going to close out of them. Can we switch them back now? Because the Metal Mouths uh, are still wanting to come kill us. America's Heroes. Good. A full, nice 10 divisions there. And thank you for sending those guys, guys. I appreciate that. But we're looking all right. We try, like I said, we try to help out the Metal Mouths. Um... At this point, I'm just here to beat the crap out of our enemies as much as we possibly can, reduce their strength as much as possible, and they died. Okay, then. Not our deal. So we have 15 divisions. Ooh, they're out of manpower. This would probably be a really good time to go to war with them, too. Um, we're doing our second set of skin. Montana's Last Mockery. The brother was founded by scum who deserted the greatest nation in her in its hour of need and little's change just protect Montana once and for all so let's go and go to war with them let's go and destroy any sort of manpower we would ever have it's alright it happens pre-war designs Watts uh, you know that's not half bad considering what we could use Some generic buffs across the board and energy weapon research speed which is pretty good too but oh also we have a cup of coffee and some uh, wild strawberry uh, Drink? What did it say? I don't know. Um, stance, pre-war, owns Boulder. We're probably not going to get to Boulder in this campaign. Arc jet systems would be good. West Tech. I think we should wait for West Tech. West Tech is it's up there. Who's justifying on us? Um, I'm not sure the Metal Mouths can really justify on us still. I'm not going to lie. I think they're a little gone at this point. Uh, yeah, biplane fighters, that, that, that'd be great. Great job, uh, Sergeant Granite. We'll use you later on, too. You'll be fine. Uh, in the meantime, you guys are on the front line here. And then we have five infantry divisions, which is all right. I think I actually might use enforcers in the end, though, still. Baking powder, good. We need cheaper coring costs. Uh, but Martha Santiago. Uh, idiot Savant, clipping capture ratio. Leadfoot's not bad, because I want to keep as much... Keep our... Organization size possible, but we're gonna go with recovery rate first too. Second set of skin, yeah, let's just go to war with them. If they're out of manpower, that's great to see. For us, we've been actually coring a few things place places here already, which is awesome. Um, we could core that if we really needed to. Five hundred. Uh, well, we're gonna have to core one of these. I guess we'll core this one, Conrad. Yeah, it's a lot of this manpower, but it does get us into the other areas around here, too. Crops, how much? What do we have? Water would probably be the best, because we can always use more political power for that. So, and how much uh, money? 94, which is not too bad. Mm, you know what? We're going to need that manpower still. Because right now, power armor, I'm not worried about... Well, I guess I could be a little bit worried about that. And by that, I mean... Uh, Maintenance. Light special forces, special forces, minimum capacity multiplier, that's good. Our infantry will get beaten by their new power armor and special forces. But they don't have that many divisions, and if we can cut them off here, that would reduce how many divisions they have as well. I think that's good for the best. We just need more manpower. Beta traders. Um, so we'll do all that stuff. Plasma's punch. Take five Yellowstones stuff. Um, accelerate research, agriculture, lessons from refugees. Not everyone who fled to the colonel's domain is an uncouth idol's mouth to feed. Some of them could teach us a good thing or two. Cool. Mm, infantry. 
Are we making any infantry armor? Yeah, we're barely making any though. And also, I wanted to use robots as well for garrisons. Now, if we come down here and we do this. I'll throw a CNC attachment on there. Does suppression go up? Suppression goes up by two. Now, it reduces your armor, but what really matters is your hardness. Does it increase hardness? I don't see any increase in hardness at all. So let's keep it like that for now, because it'd be slow over here. Uh, not over here. Uh, you know what? Since we're here, let's close out some, uh, some of these. We don't need to see this for now. We don't need eh, Keep that one open. Plus five is fine. And eh, that's okay. Industry's okay. Spent army training. Well, we're going to go to war, so let's wait for that. And we're going to need to save our caps, too, since uh, we are going to have to need some extra compliance here and there. We can all become flight robot divisions. Because right now with 280... Oh, there you go. Working on it. So that's case. Let's stop training. Nice. Alright. And let's save. Oh, uh, actually, is Santiago doing anything here? We really want Smooth Talker. Fine. You can be smooth. This is a different song than I'm used to. Huh. A little more. It's nice. I like it. So we need to start attacking us. No. Good. Oh, that's the case. Can you 2v1? Yeah. Good. Let's see what we can do up here first. Make small little encirclements and whatnot. Uh, how much anti-tank do we actually have? 400 some. Let's throw it on the uh, America's Heroes. They're definitely going to need anti-tank. Sunk from the front, more war support. You know what, that's okay, we'll try that too. Nice. So these guys are cut off. Put up in here. Freezer slot's nice. And metal mark. Still metal mouths, huh? There you go. Nice. You guys stay there. Well, why don't you come up here too? They do have a lot of special forces, though. Hmm. Let's wait for this guy to get up here first. And then all three are going to attack it each with each other. That's fine. Uh, the cheer force. For all we mock the Air Force's reliance on docked and comfortable barracks, their air superiority is nothing to joke about. Oh, also, we had a few planes. We have 167 people left, but... Fighter planes would be nice. And then we're also going to add in... Oh, we have 10. You know what? Oh, we have to give me a piece for that first. Come here first. There you go. And then I'm saying half of you guys are going to go right there. One division is going to go up there and destroy that motorized division. Continue suppressing their brother divisions. That's fine. Nice. Oh, and now they start attacking us. Interesting, interesting. There you go. Up out. And I want you guys to go here. And when they're done attacking, oh man, they're forcing they're actually forcing the attack. You're gonna go right at them right now. You're gonna come here and destroy them probably. The infantry can kinda suffer a little bit. Good job, guys. Good job. This is our I think our main enemy that we're really focused on for now. Um, do we actually compliance? Old refuge. Ooh. That and go down here, maybe. You come over here and do this, perhaps. Go in and around them. A tribe of experience, energy weapons. How uh, about well, the tribe of experience? APA is the first suit of power armor manufactured since the war, but a handful of prototypes which inspired the final designs of the Enclave in its early days. When you put on the black, you follow the footsteps of Appalachia's heroes and the veterans of the rig. Fantastic. Because we're going to need a lot of things here, aren't we? We need more guns. We need more infantry armor. 
guns. Honestly, even more robots too. And eventually more of that stuff as well. It's a lot of divisions. Of course, they have brother divisions helping them out. Uh, how about you go there? You come down here and do that. Keep them in place. Or not. Okay, whatever. Well, we're getting there. Special Forces Integration. Um, more defense is nice. Slam them down south. I want you to just encircle them. Go ahead. Good. Power armor v. Power armor. It's kind of a dicey affair, you know? Good. So there, we're definitely a mixed bag right now. But they've definitely lost more than us. These guys in the north are going to have to deal with whatever they've got right now. Because we got two more divisions to take out, which is actually pretty good for us, too. Still have metal mouth, right? Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Which leaves you guys completely open to do whatever you want, basically. So you guys can just kind of go ham at this. Um, good. Left giver. These are struggling in the north, I get it. Eventually won't matter. Good, more benefits for us. Even faster movement. Good, good, good. I want to maximize these guys first, though. Uh, go here. Go in there. And don't let him move. If we can destroy another thing in power armor, I mean, that's just going to help us out. So. Blast from the past. Almost every energy weapon in the wasteland was either once property of or based on the designs from the U.S. Army. Going through our archives will help us make the weapons that won the Great War. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh, another power armor division trapped. Oh no, who could have seen that one coming? Now they're definitely expanding out through here, which is really bad for us. These guys kind of have to suffer the brunt of it. But the infantry is actually just moving in like crazy, so... Honestly, you know what? You can delete yourself down there. Just keep them in place for now. Good. Help them out. Help them out. Uh, please give me a second. Boop. So, we have more divisions than them. Great, great, great. Oh, come on, guys. How do we do better? country. There's some more water. Look at our political power, though. Put up a settlement. Get more water. Optimize trading. Don't want to hurt ourselves too much yet. And can we probably not corner anything? Let's score this one, then. Keep them in place. There's still power armor. Once we get the root of the north, the south will be fine. You know what? You're here. Screw it. Help them out. Let's go in. I mean, it's only a militia division right there that we have to beat up as well. So, how about you guys go this direction? Do you move fast enough, maybe? Maybe not. Guys, please work smarter, not harder. Well, hey, you got three divisions in circle. I'm okay with that. Like I said, work smarter, not harder. Um, energy weapons. Remember in the air. Well, Wings of Liberty. I'm sure Joe's ground pounders last time, so we're going to go with Wings of Liberty. Despite our best efforts, the brother threatens our control of the sky, but you know what the problem with lighter than uh, air blimps is? Heavier than air fighters. Huh. Nice. Good stuff. Why did you... Hello? Another two divisions encircled? I love it. How about you don't let them leave? Ah, oh, the brother divisions showed up too. You bunch of scum suckers. There you go. 
beautiful. Yeah. And this is a more costly than I thought it would be. We've only still only lost 300 guys versus their 3,000. Obviously, there's no match between us and the Brotherhood of Steel, but, you know, they can be resourceful when needed. Too bad they're resourceful in the wrong type of ways. Um, lightning Rains, Refined Theory. You know, we'll go with that one. Failed Successor. And Brotherhood of Steel, you showed up a little bit too late. Hello. Oh, you're fighting power on yourself? That's not ideal. Come up here. Help them out. Sure thing's good. A little ahead of time, a little ahead of time. Uh, hey, there we go. Make sure they've got nowhere to go. Nice. There you go. I mean, look at that. And we destroyed most of their power armor divisions anyways, so. And all, all the power armor divisions are up here too. Our power armor divisions. Absolutely fantastic. Well, the Lakota Auxiliaries. Manpower and electric support. It has come to the Colonel's attention that she could use a force reliant solely on her for support. Why not turn to Shapo Wagner for help? I don't have a prize, but you get what you pay for. Or Western Wardens. Well, the old country doesn't exist, so I'll do this one. Beautiful. We pretty much killed off literally every single division <laughs> that the Montana chapters have. Their power armor, while it's nice, is no match for advanced power armor. Look at that money we've got. Reduce following reduced conscription. Don't do that one, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Are there any bonuses? Oh, absolutely. Regular Shack Markets Havra. Hav. Harvey. Harvel. Harvo. Oh, we have negative four political power. Look at that. Oh, forgot what I'm going to. Before they make more divisions, which I don't think they are able to. Uh, they'll get a little bit of manpower left. They might find a division or two left, maybe. Um, yeah. Seth of engagement. Definitely the route we're going to go for this one. Better recovery rate. The mighty brave, standing rocks and its warriors. In return for our offer. How wonderful. They'll gladly protect MacArthur's interests, even if Chicago might not see it that way, alas. It's important to rely on friends. Very nice. Lines in the winter. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Standing Rock to support the Brotherhood's enemies. Or, you know what, how about we steal a fire from the gods? Yellowstone's home to one of Poseidon Energy's greatest pre war projects. But the idealists and dreamers who occupy Yellowstone today, today do nothing with it. Gaia's riches are there for the taking. A power source that can fire the industry of the North. <sighs> More war support, of course. Beautiful. Just awesome. After this, I guess we'll go to war with Yellowstone then. Even though the Metal Mouth still won't take us out. Oh. Hello. You want to take us out. Do we have Orgo against you guys? Huh. All right, our colleague. Slipping, sipping, and dripping, huh? I don't really want to go to war unless they go to war with us. I mean, we could always manually just fly on them, too, if we really wanted to. You know what? I'm going to send half you guys away. But not really. Because I want Granite here to start leading and getting more experience as well when we're up here. I hope they go to war with us. I don't. I'm glad I looked at that. I guess this will be our next target. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Well, so much for that. It's where the brothers' enemies, people, Montana. We're all the stands between you and the destruction of our great state. You want mutants occupying your homes, your children conscripted into the cult, your wife or husband sent a battalion, peanut battalion to mine for uranium? Of course not. That's why we're here to help. Here to help. Well then. Yeah, we definitely need more compliance for this. Holy crap. They were not ready. The Montana chapter was not smart enough to be able to, like, do any of this stuff here. 
Well, we need more caps now. Crud. Oh, oh god, I'm glad I caught that. Holy cow. Holy cow, we got lucky. We need a little bit more recovery right first. Uh, but then we're gonna, well, you know what? We're just gonna attack anyways. You guys in the south under uh, Martha Santiago will be fine. You guys in the north, well, we'll wait and see. I've got more money, good. Just give us that compliance immediately, because we need it. Nice, and that'll help lower resistance. Stealing fire from gods. The last light of civilization. Well, I'm sure we need more uh, equipment. Chicago will gladly provide energy weapons to assist our cause, <clears throat> so long as we further contribute to their development. Oh, is there anything we can do with Montana Chapter 2? The fate of traitors. The brother is descended from the scum who abandoned her people in the hour of need. Fortunately, it is well established that whoever owing allegiance to the United States levies war against them or adheres to the enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, is guilty of treason and shall suffer death. Perhaps democracy is negotiable after all. Yeah, I'll let this other enforcers do it. Fine. They're, they're going to be fine. It's fine. Whatever. Just beat the snot out of them if you can. Hey, money. I'll start working from this side. Oh. Beautiful. And water. Oh, we got a tiny bit more caps. It immediately needs less garrisons. I love it. Did you guys actually go there? You could actually make it cut them off immediately. Well, maybe not. You're already getting attacked anyways. But then you're defending here too. Decisions, decisions, you know? Can someone win here? There you go. Nice. Steam donkeys, I don't care if it's running or stability or not. Um, yeah, good. Ah, power arm is doing very well up here. Looks like for the most part. Uh, help out here. Light of civilization is good. Better traders. And a seat on the board. Well, the brothers construct destruction. We have an opportunity to explore newfound access to Missouri. We'll make this our involvement in the Midwest much, much easier. Good. Move fast enough. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Oh my god, how long does it take you to get in there? Where did you. What the. Whatever. Screw it. There's still not a melts. Something appears to be a little glitched over there, doesn't it? Alright, so with you guys doing that, that's fine. Go in. Really just beat the snow out of them. So we've lost how much? 53 guys versus 1,000. Not bad. A little more money means a little bit more compliance. And they're going to comply no matter what. How many robots do we have? 249. That's not a lot. Um, we're looking good here. You guys can have more robots. Tra uh, Fate of Traders. The mission. As the screen flickered to life, the colonel wondered once again why the secretary appeared like this. But she said nothing as the old man spoke. So, you ground the rebels under the heel at last, hmm? He chuckled. They say a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So, of course, those mutants broke under American heroism. Nevertheless, you are to be congratulated, Colonel. Or should I say a Brigadier General? But the brother was there for a reason. I'm sure you can guess why, as their old struggle in the heartland heats up. We need you, Brigadier. We need the Northern Commonwealth. The general next to the Brigadier flickered. I'm afraid your charges will need to, need to contribute a bit more to the reconstruction. The screen flickered off, and with the neon light of Chicago replaced by a single message, God bless the Enclave, and God bless America. Oh, we get Brigadier! Uh, Ellen Santiago gets that. Oh, that's great! Don't worry about everything else. We'll build whatever we need to build. Make sure that we're successful. Indian Springs. Well, these have been cut off. That's, that's good. Uh, I'm going to take uh, at least one of you guys here to stay here. You guys are going to start punching holes. Well, punching more holes. Good people. Let's see it on the board. Let's see what happens next, my friends. Let's go in there. Fine. Hello. A little bit of lag there. Not sure why. You go here, you can circle them. Whoa. 
more industry, please. We need more electronics, too. Hey, let's go to division. What's not to love? Big browning, that should really hurt their abilities to wage war, right? Oh, we're actually losing here now. So good. Um, you know what? I think you guys could actually use something here. Let them go to. They're not great, but we need to use them now. We need more divisions, period. I think you're missing uh, the point here. The River League and the Coal Consortium. The fate of the Coal Consortium was most tragic. The Brotherhood seized their land and drove out their officers on the grounds of protecting children. No thought, of course, of the countless wastelanders down the river who rely upon the Dakota's coal, or anything else beyond their own game. Where the Brotherhoods defeat, though, the question of the coal mines comes to the fore. We could ship some of the bank's coal down to uh, Missouri to Chicago in exchange for additional weapons, or we could keep it here for our own industry. The River League is also offering lucrative economic concessions to sell it to the highest bidder, and finally, one possibility is to restore the consortium's control over the region, but with new management. The war effort needs coal. We need it here. Wow, we have a lot more political power. We lose stability, though. I lose even more stability. Sell it to the highest bidder to the River League. Let the coal consortium work under our guidance. We can release them. Prometheus coal. That sounds really cool, actually. We're intellectuals, huh? Mm, uh, but we could always use more power armor. Yeah, that's really bad. That's actually really, really, really bad. And we get some gunships. I have to do that one. Hey, we got them. Good job, guys. We got a little there at the end, but that's all right. Um, you guys. Oh, good God. Good old Yellowstone, which I've been to before. It's a very beautiful place. Highly recommend going. You've never been there. In Wyoming, Montana. Well, still doing military sending bonuses, which is good. Optimized trading, maybe. Cultural simulations, all right. Shipments to Chicago. Plasma guns would be nice. Threshing machines are good. Keep putting our stability because we can. And uh, what else? Coring more stuff? 43, sure. Is it worth coring this stuff? Honestly, probably not. Oh well. Oh, we know more money. Okay. Nice, good stuff. No man fire, but what else is new? We're still on last American army. Every man for Uncle Sam. Oh, look at that. Send salvage to Chicago. Loot the Brotherhood stockpiles. Although the Secretary of the Interior would prefer to gain all knowledge and information we have on the Brotherhood, we can make use of the resources here doing so. Of course, we know the Secretary of the Interior, who is their superior officer. Mm, or send salvage. Yeah, probably that one's better. Plasma rifles, just better overall. The Secretary of the Interior and our fighting men and women would appreciate anything we could provide about the Brotherhood. Why not share with them? You guys don't look so prepared. Eh, we'll core another piece, why not? Uh, we can? Yeah, we can. Good. Help resistance and whatnot. We need more guns, we need more power, we need actually more robots too, it's not ideal. Go up to two, go up to five. Wrap bots, planes, all sorts of fun little stuff here. So if we go to war with them, we're motorized. You know what, since we're using them anyways, Riders, how much rider gear do we have? 400, that's not terrible. We don't have that many divisions anyways. Throw on an anti-tank for now. What happens if I would convert you five to riders? You know what, how about I convert half of two of them? We get a little bit of armor, which is nice. It's not enough, but I did give them anti-tank. Your armor's fine, you know what? What if we convert them all to that then? 
and salvage to Chicago. Great. Plasma's punch. Sucks to be everyone who doesn't get advanced state of the art weaponry. Yeah. So there's our infantry armor, just a little bit. Not bad. Not good. So we go to war with them. They immediately start attacking us in certain different locations. Not good up there. Um, if you go here, that would be fantastic. And you go right there. And you guys, you, you just go ahead. You should be fine. Oh, I left it in there completely open. Not ideal. Okay then. You just go straight across. That's fine. You go straight into here. More manpower. I'll produce coin costs as well. Walking tanks are good. And of course we have to go purity. Find them, kill them. You know, the huge. So I'll move through that. We'll try to win through here pretty quickly as well. Plasma's punch is good. Request more armor. Who among us would not want more advanced power armor, especially given this weather? So you've done very well down here. I want to spend half you guys here, here too. Go that way too. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Not sure why you do that, but okay. It's kind of a mess down here, isn't it? Spreading out like cancer. Maybe I would expect. There, so they're really trying to get through here in this spot, huh? Good. You guys are almost done there. Nice. I'm going to swing through the southern part. Be good. Now they're trying to get through Pine Creek as badly as they possibly can, but that ain't going to work. Okay, come over here too. Radio. Good. Description. Good. Den. Well, just go in. Public projects, great. Uh, it's all out of time, but whatever. What's my armor? And the same plasma Washington used. <laughs> with our control secure, we can finally and fully equip our troops with plasma weapons. Did you know that the founding fathers used. Such weapons that killed King George III? Well, now you do. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, they're spreading up here like a cancer. Oh, God. Well, you better take the VPs fast. Coulter Bay. That should capitulate him. So that in mind, you're gonna finish that up. You guys are actually gonna come up here because I'm tired of this. I'm really tired of this. Uh, you guys can stay down here. That's fine. Do that. Go and do that too. It's fine. Frequency analysis good. Did you not kill this division off? Come on. I hate, I hate, hate these passes. It's like the waterways down in Mexico. No one likes them. Uh, have you weapon assistance? The secretary will gladly provide us with more weapon assistance. It'll come at a price, however. Surely we don't mind sacrificing for the great work. Good. Plasma weaponry is good, good, good. Up settlements. And, uh, water. Definitely. Just 
Just, just go in. Like, come on. You don't need to go all the way around. Just go in. You'll be fine. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Like normal. Come on. That took way too long. Do better than this, soldiers. Alright. Well, we wanted them to help us out, but now they want to come kill us too, huh? Oh. Fire council. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, then. One, two, three, four, five, six different ways that they could come in and enter our lands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need at least one more division over here then. And then there's going to be five here. Not ideal. Really quite not ideal. You guys will have to be the ones to push out the true cons. As long as Ruminator's not, not in, that's good. But still. And since we just won the war, uh, compliance. Needs to go up. Need more robots. Need more of everything, really. 30. Uh, well, how about, for the most part, we can use that. You guys can have the robots. It's not going to help us out that much. But that's what we got. Clean up more stuff. 45. Get a hungry nation, that's fine. I have a weapon system that's good though. Every little bit helps. Prometheus bound. With the control of the uh, Yellowstone, the Colonel must decide what to do with the Hesphesis project. <clears throat> so many options before. So, if anything, uh, this is going to be a big old struggle. I'm not worried about up here. This should be fine. Um, yeah. Oh. That definitely got compliance more. It's great. You hopefully can hold. Oh, God. Uh, you probably can't hold. Uh, so yeah, the infantry is going to move through here really fast. I don't trust us using cons commands, or not cons commands, but uh, forcing our way through here very easily. You know what, you're going to go ahead and grab uh, the Nerd Rage. Yeah. Forcers, attack, defense. Um... The flame eyed fire. At long last, we're starting to discover the secrets of the Hesphesis project. But well, what shall we do with this power? Chicago preferred to divert the energy back to them, a vital resource for the war against the Midwestern Brotherhood. But Rodriguez would argue that energy serves a valuable role for the region and could further industrialize development. In this scenario, we might still send resources to Chicago, but it be processed uranium, coal, and other riches pulled from the mountains. And then there's Maria, the Colonel's daughter. Maria proposes that we share the power of the people. People power? A novel idea that might at least gain a support among the locals, but it will certainly anger the Secretary of the Interior. Can we truly risk that? This is to fight the Brotherhood. Ooh. Ruler support? Um, the Enclave. Five percent reduction as Chicago withdraws support. Must show, share with our fellow Americans. More political power, more manpower, which we could use. First time we can use this energy. More political power, more elites, less stability. We need to beat the Brotherhood. We could share it, but. I mean, don't get me wrong, we need the power armor. I'm, I think I'm gonna share with the fellow Americans, maybe. How much research speed do we get bonuses? 
Ooh. We need the manpower. We have to have that manpower. While we're about education for wastelanders, we can merely increase their tasks with Chicago's network. The Secretary of the Interior knows everything people need to know. That's right, command. Experience soldiers' losses goes down, which is pretty good. I don't born. Tales of Granite Company. It's not bad either. Ranger Instruction, Alex McCormick. Death Traders, of course. Uh, Chief of the Army, Broadcast Monitor, Unblinking Hawk, Back in Black. Uh, greasers would be good to do. Less hardness, but, you know, whatever. Cultural Advisors. Civilian Outreach. Starting Compliance would be nice. Hmm. Starting compliance goes up a little bit more. Monthly population goes up. Responsible for water purification in Montana. Jeffrey responsible for economic reconstruction due to personal shortages. Or personnel shortages. Criticize the task for wasting resources on wastelanders. He and his team have made sure that the Enclave and America have enough men to fight on. Perhaps one day he'll be able to see Old Glory flying proudly from sea to shining sea. That's not bad. It's not super important. Anything here? No. Daily people support. Head trader reaping the benefits. Mm. Yeah, it's not great. I'd rather spend the political power coring more stuff for now, in all honesty. Is this going down? There you go. That helps out a little bit. So a little more manpower, perhaps. There's just really not much up here. It's looking better for, uh, for something here. A few more guns. We'll buy a few more guns. You make do with what you got, right? Chief State, California. 1.3 political power day. Wow! Holy cow. Legion's looking all right down here. Texan Brothers looking thick as normal. MacArthur's looking fantastic, though. We are extremely aggressive. Usually, Standing Rock does not have too many divisions. 10 and 19, I think we could take those guys on. The cons, that's another story. They're going to smash through our enforcers very quickly, so the five divisions that Granite has will get to their absolute best of their abilities. Oh, God. Oh. Span the dam. Great Falls, People's Plant, Intellectuals, Caps Income, more stability would be nice for that guy. More political power would be good too. Or we come down here. Transports, Division Training Time, Tales of Granite Company, New Ironsides, Tanks. We can kind of wait on that. More airfields, transport units, it's not bad. Sophisticated air tech, that's not bad either. Uh, Freedom of speech. I like the political power. I don't like more resistance target, though. Hmm. Well, the Great Falls Restoration. Great Falls' position on the Missouri River presides ample hydroelectric power for us in a use in a variety of fields, or industrial projects, really. The storm mongers may have been crazy savages, but even they knew how to use it for the vehicle production. How fortunate for them that they have been liberated under our rule. So much longer do we have to wait? Oh, they're halfway. So we have a little bit more time to get more compliance. A little more time to get more stuff cored. So that'll be all very good stuff. More output, more manpower, slightly, slightly, slightly more manpower. Oh, so bad. Um, anything else we can do here in the meantime? Expand army training? Yeah, that's worth it. This stuff? Not ideal. Good. Since we're here anyways, get that extra manpower. Oh my god. Work on our military. Good. Ah. Uh, Fox Stalker is really, really kind of nice. Let's do I Harlow Town? It's not worth very much, but it helped lower resistance across here, too. Uh, that area's not really ready yet. Or, you know what? We'll do this one next. What's next? You know what? First family investment. We can get some more manpower or political power that way, too, from Salvatore or Salvatore's Tiki Bar. 
Sadly, the Jackson's rebellion destroyed much of Missoula's leadership and left deep scars in the area. If we want to restore the town's prosperity, it might be best encourage the first family's help. They miss you. A little more ca bottle caps would be nice. At this point, uh, Yellowstone could still use this, but could we also use our money for something else like military signing bonuses? Yes, we could. It looks like Heaven's Gate really wants to go to war with us. Infantry armor's looking a little better. Guns are looking a little better. We actually have enough power armor for now, but it's not going to be good enough for service to the cause. People of Montana, the Enclave needs you. Not your hopes, not your resources, not, or your lands. It needs you personally, and you need it. The Department of the Interior labors even now to restore the heartland, but that mighty project needs new workers to that end. Ellen Santiago has been authorized to conscript several hundreds of our nation's citizens to take part in the reclamation. Those who go east will receive rations, our health care wages, plus the land grant at the end of their service. Do not wait for those who go. Rejoice at the future they will help build in Iowa. Oh god, we're under attack. We can't help. Must not be. Oh, who needs recruitable population factor? Well, at least we get more minimum special forces capacity multiplier, I guess. 118 is not enough. Oh. We can still send stuff. Chicago, thanks for service. Because you sent more than 25, 20, and 20. Chicago, satisfied. Thank you. Yeah, you better be welcome, Chicago. Don't tell them that. But, you know, Salvatore's Tiki Bar. It seems Salvatore wants to open yet another bar. This one inspired by an old pre-war Hawaiian establishment. With those silly idea, he hopes it could turn into an anchor of new market for the region. Who are we to stand in the way of progress? Salvatore, huh? Where did he go? Oh, we already have him. Oh, okay. So Garrison's a little bit. Caps expenses went down, which is actually really nice, too. Ah, oh, manpower, finally. More. Because we just ran out again. Oh, crap. Well, we better save again. This is not going to be good. This is going to be a bear to fight. Uh, middle mark? What are you doing? You know what? Oh, we can make this a core? And then get it later from these guys? That would be fantastic. Death or taxes. We can't. We don't have time to deal with these guys. So as much as I don't want to do this, because we fought very hard for this land, we can have it. I guess a little more manpower back. Death or taxes. Many of those who flee to MacArthur's oasis of stability find themselves in a desperate predicament. Bereft of anything other than the clothes on their back, they turn to the first families of the Enclave for support. Each has its complication. The first families often extend loans to their new workers, but the refugees find them not impossible to pay off. The Enclave is happy to support all Montana citizens in exchange for a 20 year stint in the Conservation Corps, you know, a short, short, short amount of time. Needless to say, many work for the families, which is how the latest issue arose. Some indentured uh, <coughs> refugees absconded from their uh, supervisor with the funds he loaned and hit it big at Little Reno. They want to use that money to pay off their debts and escape early. But the supervisor claims the refugees received a loan contingent upon working for him for seven years and they cannot pay it back. Team October were the first on the scene of the dispute. What should they do? Should they do? Confiscate the winnings and ensure no witnesses. Let them pay off the contract with all the winnings. The refugees agreed to work. They cannot rescind their agreement. Mm. Then paid off. Okay, so they're gonna go to war with us still, which sucks. We have a little bit of manpower finally, which is actually really kind of nice. We still don't have enough divisions. Five, huh? Basic training appointments? Yes, please. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and optimize trading as well. These guys actually might be able to hold out. Maybe. It's a little ahead of time there. Uh, more output? No. Standardized tools? Yes, please. Uh, well, I'm sure they'll go to war this soon enough. Expand the dam. Our colleague? Not all the research from the rig was lost, the Secretary of the Interior sent a soldier modified base on the research used on Frank Horrigan. Then is near for America's enemies. Awesome.
Are we looking? Hey, infantry armor is looking a little better. We have more than enough guns now. That's awesome. Uh, let's go to three since we're going to use those quite a bit now. Ooh, we're out of anti-tank rifles. But if we core more, we'll get more. 2.1, 2.9, big timber. Four? Oh, four, definitely. Because it's another city. Oh, they went to war the Church of the Silo, huh? Oh, did they get to the last readout too? No, they have the same color, which is not a very good color scheme, but whatever. Um, just give us more time to prepare and whatnot. Sure, for now it's fine, whatever. Everything we do is going to here to make us stronger. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Soldiers and Sumerians. Ah. Fears that the Salvatores, not content with opening tacky bars in Montana cities, are making new plans. To expand the clientele, they're hosting what they call Game Nights, where our subjects play board games. One of the more popular ones involves a band of plucky enclave soldiers fighting against the Brotherhood, super mutants, and raiders, gaining new weapons and skills to delve into vaults and ruins. Although we have quite some qualms, I can't deny this is better than Tragic the Gathering. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. That's funny. Our colleague, a little help from my friends. The Secretary's charming smile looked down at the Colonel, who stood at attention as always. Ready now, Colonel. <clears throat> Always uptight. Please, the special agent uh, is uh, not intended to be a sign of disrespect. Quite the contrary. He is the finest soldier in decades, the pinnacle of enclave science. Ah, a man that no one would doubt, and we're sending to the battalion with him, of course. Think of it as a sign of our faith in you, really. The special agent Johnson it will be as if I'm right by your side forever. God bless the enclave. Manpower good. I think we're good on manpower, finally, at least for now. At least a little bit. Um, nice. Bring me men to match my mountains. How about the, this one? Refugee machine shops. Many of the captains taken by the storm mongers that weren't sacrificed were enslaved and forced to work in the machine shops, attained to their planes. Now that they're under our control, we can give them their old equipment to open workshops in the Great Falls. That's right. Still making them America's heroes, so then I will feel okay to go to war with the Great Khans. Especially since this is taking so long to do. And they're, they're pushing in, but that's going to really hurt their manpower and their equipment and whatnot. And if they're on a two-front war, that'd be nice, especially with extra help on this side. And with you guys being made as well, that should be decent. Not great, but decent. Uh, I'm going to give you chems first anyways, and start filling them out a little bit better. There you go. What is this? Oh, another division. Awesome. Um, you know what? Sergeant Grant's going to be the one to lead this group. A more money, great. Ooh, this would be good to do too. Ooh, but we need money. Ooh, we need manpower. Political power. Honestly, this will give you more manpower in the end. We'll get more stuff there too. Which does beg the question: Can we increase and promote the nodes? Thank God we got two nodes. I can't imagine not having two nodes, man. God, I love caffeine. Refugee machine shops, nice. Great Falls University. Although Montana's centers of learn, higher learning did not survive the Great War, some old manifest facilities could give us a chance to start something of value in the Great Falls. Surely no one will come from concentrating the most educated people in the state in one location. Fantastic. The colonel's not looking so good right now, but expand the dam. Say what you will about the stormmongers' levies. They did manage to restore the dam that once powered Great Falls. With superior American engineering, we can continue the work. And Markham's plan. Markham hopes to use the Great Falls to introduce some of Chicago's efficiency to the West. She has permission to run several workshops by algorithms and data, taking a human bias out of the equation, just like Chicago in a way. Who can complain? And bring me men to my, match my mountains. To fulfill the direction of the Secretary of the Interior, we need heroes. Men with empires and the purpose and new eras in their brains. Men to tame their tigerish instincts of the lair and cave dens. More uh, air aid. Well, the focus on flying in aerospace, we've forgotten that we need humans in the seats of the planes and vertebrates flying across or around. Thankfully, we can request a few airheads, for better or for worse, to fill those seats, either until they go up in flames, or in a sea of flames, or we'll find someone better. Good, things are going all right for us now. Stay funded. Absolutely, and, uh, expand army training? Oh, god, yes. Still looking alright in some places. Oh, we don't have enough money for that, but that's okay. Eh, not really, but whatever. Oh, 8,000? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, dude. Yes. Steel Town. Ooh. 
Under the Enclave's rule, Great Falls has turned from a savage raider stronghold into a thriving hub of commerce. We're dubbing it Steel Town to reflect not just the mountains of scrap still being smelted down, but its purpose as a new trading hub and the industrial heart of MacArthur's economy. Who needs roads? The advantage of our Air Force is that we knit the territories of the Northern Commonwealth together in a way that no savage or town ever could, and we can use this to send troops as well. Maelstorm? Maelstorm? Maelstrom restored. Maelstrom served America for over a century, since it was founding during the Second World War. Now it will serve us once again. Um, a reminder that we are always on guard and always at the ready to defend the American people. And the army of the Enclave. The resources of the Northern Commonwealth could turn the tide in the heartland and give the Enclave a chance to crush the Brotherhood once and for all, but alas, too few Americans are left to satisfy every front nowadays. Ellen Santiago's demands call for new sacrifices from everybody in MacArthur, and there are three proposals to meet the Secretary's orders. The easiest solution would be to appeal to Chicago for further assistance in exchange for accelerating resource extraction in the North. We could also work with the First Families and the rest of the region's elite and rely upon their involvement. Although these would not be as powerful as the United States Army, they could supp supplement our ranks and additional battalions. Finally, we could recruit refugees and wastelanders, opening the doors to widespread recruitment. Professionals, huh? Uh, advanced power armor is hard to beat. Elites? Trust the families and the marshals. Wasteland scouts. Ooh! Recruitable population. Ooh, that's nice. Wait, what do you mean pacification system enabled? Yes? Every man who carries a rifle is welcome to one. Ooh, 5%. That's a lot of stability hit, though. I don't want more, that much more people. Ruler's nice. Well, obviously, with General was Johnson, they will go with the Enclave Ruler. And I love the power armor. Uh, going forward. Uh, maybe, trust the families and the marshals. Let's go with these guys. First families goes up a little more. Or, Colonel's losing a lot of influence here, though, which kind of sucks. Um, anywhere in the air. The Enclave's inverted birds let their pilots go anywhere they want, limited only by the fuel they could carry, and their orders, which must be obeyed at all times. Uh, uh, special Operations Forces. The average Enclave soldier is deadly enough, but have you heard the tales of Sigma Squad? Oh god. Or Delta Force? Of course you have. On Enclave Radio, these men and women fought for America since the Revolution and will fight for 500 years more. The boys from Fort Dearborn. Chicago sent one of its bright young lads out help west to help. A hero who knows all about the teaching of the capital. The corporal's a bit of a stick in the mud of the tradition protocol, but we can always use another hand for the great work. A lesson from Navarro. The war with the NCR taught us many bitter truths. Among them, the quantity has a quality all of its own. We're going to need to preserve. If we're going to preserve the great northern commonwealth, we need to prepare accordingly and reflect on our failures. Cool. Mm, arms workshops. But I think I'll end it there. We've done very well uh, with MacArthur. We've been very aggressive. We lost our you know, territory to Middlemark. But that will put us in a war against Standing Rock, who is looking like they're finishing up their war. Um, but it's better to take them out now when we actually have a slight bit of manpower. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a fat like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we will continue on with uh, MacArthur. Thanks for watching, and have a great Enclave Rasalva. Your day.